Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first series, first episode of this series. We are ready to launch. And yes, we are ready to launch. So before I start to introduce our special guest, my name is Tommy and I would be um, hosting this particular um, part of the pod. Um, I just want to say before I introduce you guys that I'm so excited to be doing this alongside you guys. Um, I researched on each person here and what I found blew my mind. So I'm so honored to have you guys here. So um, starting with Dr. Foy, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Dr. Foy. Um, Tochuku Mokfoy. I am a, I'm a medical doctor by training um, and a media um, entertainment executive. Um, I do a lot of things. Um, I very love hearts. <laughs> um, I'm a six to six driver. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 That's it. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Miss Vian, could you please introduce yourself? Hi. My name is Vian, and I have done brand and business strategy for almost 15 years, spanning between beauty and luxury and market entry strategy. And I'm here because I love God. I love people. I love being successful. And I love 66 Tribe. <laughs> Thank you. All right, El. Um, my name is El Mustafa. Um, I'm Elder Statesman for I'm Elder <laughs> Tribesman for the 66 Tribe. Um, I'm a creative director, I'm a rap artist, um, I'm a lot of other things that I don't need to say here, but yeah, that's basically it. Um I'm just here to, you know, have a good time in the presence of God and his children, basically. Thank you. So, yes, you're welcome to the Six Street Tribe Pod. And today, we'll be discussing a very important topic. We'll be talking about balancing spirituality with creativity. So, I'd like to start with the um, lady, Miss Vian. What, what do you think about, like, when you hear balancing spirituality with creativity, what comes to mind for you? I think the foundation is based on the very important question, what do you believe in? Because it is what you believe in that your faith is based on. Mm. And that's what spirituality is based on. So for us not to sound unbiased because we're having a discussion, anybody can believe in anything. It's now up to you to know, are you believing in what is right? Are you believing in what you convince yourself is right? And when you are creating, what is your intent in creating? What moves you? what is informing the art to your creator. I think once those questions are being asked as honestly as possible, then we are able to know what is the balancing act between spirituality and creativity. Okay, okay. Yes. thank you very much. Um, Dr. Foy, what do you um, think about that topic? So I think that creativity is spiritual. Mm. Generally spiritual. I think that most, most times... Um, to to get someone's attention you must drag it from from a realm mm -hmm. okay you must drag it from a realm um and like she says um there, there, there are many realms mm -hmm. there are many realms let's not too many realms too. but it's it's very spiritual i remember growing up to um i, I scored in kissy i'm a kissy boy and we used to hear fella then music is spiritual <laughs> and, and, and it's, so it's very spiritual creativity um Creativity is also very, creativity is very subjective. So most, what is creative to somebody, you know, creative, but what sparks creativity spiritual? Mm. So I think that they are both. Even the first act of God was creating. Mm. That was the first That's act. Right. The world was dark. God was doing prompts, chat GPT prompts. Mm -hmm. Let there be light. Bam, psh, 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 light. So, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. What about you, Al? Um, I think I do agree with Dr. Foy a lot. I think creativity comes from a spiritual place. And I think like everyone else has said, there are different places to to draw that creativity from. There are different spiritual channels to get yeah. it from. So yeah, I, I think yeah, spirituality and creativity, the creativity is a child of spirituality okay. in a way. Yeah. Um so yeah, I think that's, that's Okay, it. this is really interesting because you you've kind of opened a new dimension to the topic. Okay. Because when I first heard creativity, spirituality, in my head, I was thinking, oh, yes, Christianity, spirit, cocoa. Yeah. But then, you you know, the fact that you made, you've anchored it on the fact that um, creativity is actually spiritual. Like, yeah. you don't, it's not a Christian thing or a Muslim thing or a Buddhist thing. It's 
creativity and it has a lot to do with the spirit realm but yes because this is six street of six six tribe we would be anchoring this discussion um around exodus 35 verse 35 and it says that um he was talking about Bezalel and Helena, and he was like um he has filled them with skill to do all kinds of work as engravers designers embroiders in blue purple scarlet yarn and um fine linen and weavers all of them skilled workers and designers and um I'm paraphrasing, but that Bible verse talks about how God um, took, I don't want to say average, yeah, sort of average people, and he made them into something. He gave them like a kind of superpower in creating what they were supposed to create. And the Bible verse talks about how they did so well that they had to teach others, like other people had to come to them and learn from them. And the magic was the fact that God had given them that ability. So um, with that in mind, I think we should take our first case study from something that happened a bit recently. So um, Rema was at O2 a while ago, and I remember I remember how much conversation was had because of the um, creative assembles. Uh, let me describe it that way, <laughs> that he brought on stage, and Christians were kicking against it, like, um, why, why is this here and whatnot? And other people were like, well, it's just... I, I remember someone saying he was being in art or something. So in that kind of situation, what are your thoughts? Like, um, as Christians, how do we tread that balance between wanting to, between wanting to express our creative selves as well as maintaining our spirituality as Christians? So Dr. Foy. Okay, um, interesting. So first of all, I'll say that. Let me quickly bust the bubble. There's a part in the Bible, Psalm 18, when it says God covers himself with darkness. Psalm 18. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm a Bible guy. <laughs> God, then in Isaiah, God hides himself in darkness. In Genesis, God made light from darkness. Mm. So darkness or dark is not evil. Black is not evil. So let's first, because most, most, when we talk of Christian creativity, it must be colorful and Bright. And bright, you know. So dark is not evil. Evil is the absence of God. Mm. So let's because because if we don't put these frameworks, we would always push people Stay to away. a side. Exactly. So that's the first thing. I watched the Remal show live. I did watch it live, and I I would say two things. Number one is I would say that I won't use their standard to 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 drive christianity i think that we're we're bigger than that okay. i think that i think that most christians haven't tapped into creativity yeah. and i'm saying it boldly 95 i'm not impressed by most because we th we always box our creativity into into the worship of jesus hmm. be glorified i'm magnified he's uh, he has he's given me breath has given me life has given me water and wine and he has and he has but <laughs> There's so much more. Mm. What we always want to do is box secular and what? Yeah. Sacred. But, but that's, not, that's not God. Mm. It is sacred and desecrated. Sacred, he owns everything. Desecrated, devil wants to stain everything. Mm. That so, is so interesting. So I recap it. He owns the arts. He owns fashion. He owns music. He owns sex. I, I'm here because of sex now. Yeah. <laughs> Without oh, sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. He owns everything sacred, mm. but the devil wants to what? Desecrate everything. Mm. So, yes, maybe we could, those who were spiritually discerning may have seen some funny work in that um, Rema's um, 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 performance. performance. But but that for me, I'm like, Christians, let's, let's, let's own art. Let's okay. own fashion. I, I must say, let's own. Let's let's bring from heaven what is not on earth. Mm. Let's 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 push the the boundary. Let me shock everybody here. And it, it's quite scary. Last year, what was the biggest album in the world that was gospel? Who guess? Who guess? For the past two years, guess number one album gospel Billboard, 2023. Shall blow your mind. And in 2023, this guy was posting breasts on his page. Kanye West's album was the biggest gospel album mm. in 22 
23. Billboard number one. After Kanye West, only four was Michael W. Smith. Okay, that's wild. That's, that's wild. Why? Because when he did just his king, that album, he pulled something. Yeah. The world, the world likes creativity. So we have to now say, you know what? God is in, God owns everything. He owns art. I'm not saying white and white, angel, only angel. Mm -hmm. He owns he owns poetry. He owns rap. He owns everything. But it's how do we bring divinity into creativity? So that's my thing. That's what I call. That is so interesting. And that opens up two more questions that I'm going to come back to ask you. But yeah. before I do, um, uh, El, could you tell us what you think about this? Topic? Um, For me personally, I didn't see any issues with Rema's, <laughs> with Rema's set, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I feel like people that had issues with that would have had issues with Jesus Christ making mud with his spit and putting on somebody's eyes and then oh, person but can they see. do <laughs> that's what i'm saying so it's an age where people say ah, that's definitely to do jesus mm. could have said oh take side and see and that would that would work <laughs> that's sufficient enough yeah. but he did that and that's in a way creative and that's i think christians are scared of creativity to an extent they are scared of what isn't familiar yeah so we want things to be a certain way. we want it to be temple music we want it to be the keyboard guitar we want it to be like a sunday service so when you're bringing stuff that they're not used to they know they don't see it on sundays it becomes a problem usually um and i think that's what people saw with rema for me well i can't say I, if it was to do if it, i saw mask i saw stuff that was being inherited and that's what it's ever going to be to me personally that's what i believe a knife is a knife some people cut bread with it some people do other things with it that I wouldn't like to say in mm. London. Shout out to London boys. <laughs> <laughs> so people do stuff with it. People cut bread with it and share with family. People use it to hurt people, but it's still a knife. Mm. And all of that could be, to me, it's just been in heritage and it's part of our history yeah. as a people. Whether you whether you think it was good or not, it's a different conversation entirely, but it's part of our history and you're not going to throw all of that away because we're, we, you know, we're enlightened by, 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 jesus christ we can use all of that as well we can translate it in different ways we can but i think it all starts with not being scared of it not being fearful about it i think christians are heavily scared of new creativity and we're in the age where things are evolving people are bringing back you know things into modern culture people are trying to you know talk about slavery in different ways in films in in more urban ways and we have to get to that point too where we're doing stuff like that and we're bringing a perspective to it mm. like dr foy said um God owns everything, really. But people bring different perspectives. Darkness comes and tries to tell you, oh, this is what this thing is meant for. This is how this thing should be done. We need to bring light into it and say, oh, this is how it should be done. This is how it should yeah. be used. So personally, I didn't have any issues with Rema's set entirely, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, Miss Fian, what do you think? Honestly, I'll say <laughs> Rema didn't do anything wrong. Mm. He's an artist. Okay. And it's art. If we if we compare, and I love when you were bringing up Benzalen and Holyab, these guys were already master craftsmen. God was endorsing their work. Okay. God was influencing for them. God was handing out their business cards because they were doing great work in the first place. Mm. I think that's something I believe Christians and Christian creatives need to understand. Mm. There's a place wherein you embody the quality and the excellence of your arts. And then God's spirit comes and makes it into something very magnificent. I think most Christian creatives wait for the other way around. Mm. They sit down and wait for the spirits to come upon them Okay. before they start to create. Mm. But you understand that you can start to create. And then the Holy Spirit continues to open new portals and new layers of who you become and how you create. So Rema creating from, he grew up in Benin. Yes. He was surrounded by that art. That art was stolen and is being glorified in the entire world. Why shouldn't he be able to use it to be able to express his heritage, doing something he had dreamt about doing? He was manifesting himself on that stage for years. He carried with him everything that embodied what had carried him to become Rema. Mm. And if Christians looked at it and said there was something off, let's not lie. It's because there was bias between Jewish culture versus Albanian culture. Mm. It doesn't have to be that there was any rema that <laughs> came upon <laughs> them and said, yeah. this, is... this is looking like juju. It's just because in the course of 
learning God's word, either from dogma or doctrine. They say, this is black, this is white, this is black, this is white. And then you've been cultured into believing black and white. He carried his art. Mm. He carried who he was. And it was a fantastic show. I do agree. Thank and you. I'm glad um, a lot, I, I think in the three um, opinions I've heard just now, something common has been that um, every single one of you has mentioned how Christians or creativity is a tool and creatives should be the best at what they do before the um, spirit of God then, or at least like in most cases, the influencing can come afterwards. So I just want to, um, I, I want us to talk about something um, for a short time. Now, so there's this thing I've observed how um, people who start out as Christian singers end up leaving the Christian creative um, industry to enter the, according to what we think, secular industry. And it seems like there's a level of excellence that they display in the um, secular industry. Now, I'm not saying this for us to start talking about that because that's their choice. But I, I want to ask how exactly people who have chosen to stay in the Christian creatives community, like people who have chosen to use their art, their music, whatever, in a way that they think at least that is socially acceptable as glorifying God. How do we bring in that excellence? How do we, because something um, you mentioned Kanye West and it reminded me of the fact that um, I can't remember the title of the song now, but one of his most popular songs on the um, Jesus is King album, not even just that one, quite a number of those songs, you'd hear them and you think, oh, this choir sounds amazing. And then you go to church next Sunday and you hear your own choir and you're wondering, don't you guys have rehearsals? Mm -hmm. So like, why exactly? How do we bring in that attitude? Because I see um, circular, so, so to speak, circular um, singers, when they're preparing for their concerts, when they're preparing for their show, it's not a God take control. I'm a vessel. I'm empty. Feel me. I see how much hours they put into practice. So how exactly can we embody that in Christian creatives industry? Um, Ms. Vienna, I'd like you to go first this time because you brought this up. <laughs> Spirit of excellence. Simple. You mm. start with being amazing. You don't stop. You keep growing. You keep saying, I am going to be the greatest I can possibly be. You yearn for good success. Once you put your good foot forward and you say, Father, lead me. Holy Spirit, fill me. You take it into the next level. That's not in the guise of being righteous. Display mediocrity and celebrate it. And expect the Holy Spirit to meet us at our point of mediocrity. Mm. He can only meet us at where we are. That's true. So if you decide and you say, I want to be a global success. I want to be a global phenomenon. Like I said, let's not do it the reverse. Let's not come and say, Spirit, move me <laughs> by the grace to become a global phenomenon. Are you a global phenomenon material? Like I said, creatives, Christian creatives like to easily latch on to Benzalen and Holyab. I will remind you, read that Bible verse very well. <laughs> Those guys were amazing craftsmen. Yes. And God chose them. I told Solomon, no other person should touch that temple. Yeah. Them. Were they the only craftsmen in Israel? Most no. Because they were already great at their crafts. And mm. God had to endorse. Can you pay for an endorsement from God? <laughs> God had to endorse their crafts because they were already great at it. And they were also, they had the hearts to be able to teach and transfer. How many Christian creatives want to let the next person who they are mentoring or the people around them to even be better than them? Mm. If you don't pour out, who will fill you up? There are so many biblical values and laws that Christian creatives just think they can jump and escape and pass that hurdle just by speaking in tongues. It's never going to happen. You sow, mm. you reap. You can't sow in... in Play and be speaking in tongues morning, afternoon, night. Those things don't happen. So if you want excellence, you have to build yourself into excellence. You have to show God. You have to worship God with your excellence. I say this mm. every time. Church season is over. Okay. Carrying the megaphone on the street, you are under the hot sun. People want to see how is this person, how is this creative being able to bring God in a place that the whole world can look and say there's something different here. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing that yet, then you need to check yourself. Mm. And you need to ask and say, am I even representing my father? Mm. 
Am I even representing him? He created the universe in six days. We are still being sustained by the same universe. Mm. If you create something, can we still be sustained with it after you? Oh my won? God, Miss Ben. No, honestly. <laughs> So what do you want? Mm. It's your choice. Do you That's want to so be the important. greatest? Then build yourself up to be the greatest and let him take it from there. That is so important. That's the truth about creativity and spirituality as a Christian. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, El. Um, firstly, I would like to address the Kanye situation. <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> Kanye to me is, to me, to me, I've said it like two times, is the greatest artist to ever exist. And when you say Kanye's gospel album was excellent, Kanye has always been excellent. Mm. Kanye's last album, he rented out, was it the Mercedes Hall or something like rented it over for Ria's house. Mm. Kanye, it, so it's not it's not because he was making a gospel album I'm that biased, he became excellent. But isn't that just money? What? I'm biased, but that's just money. Dedication. <laughs> Dedication. Before Fish Kanye, up. before I don't want to make this a Kanye history talk, <laughs> but yeah, Kanye has always been excellent. So it wasn't because oh, I'm making a gospel album now. I can get good choir. When he did Jesus Walks, he had the he had excellent choir for that year. When mm. so he's, he's been that way from the jump. Okay, it's not about a gospel album or not. So it, I agree with her in the sense that we, when you say oh this is a Christian project, people tend to mm. do it anyhow. I don't know why because I mean if you know you're serving this to God and you're doing it for God, you should bring the highest form of excellence to it. But mm -hmm. most times you just ah there's no resources, no resources. Ah let's just manage, let's just do it. God will understand. Ah it's it's a song for the church. They will sing along. However we do, especially. Sorry to say, but especially people who have audience in like churches already. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you release, you have those 200 guys that are always listen to you. You have those 500 guys that are always listen to you. You're not thinking on a global scale. So why even stretch yourself? Why mm -hmm. try too hard? So that's why we don't see that much excellence. It's not a matter of, I think it's just, like she said, a spirit of excellence. It's about, okay, I want this to be the best possible. Mm -hmm. Obviously, people are blessed with more resources and whatever, but a lot of Christians are not even maximizing what they have. And I'm not talking about spiritual gifts. I'm talking about physical resources, the things around them, how, how much they can learn from YouTube, how much they can listen to, how much research they can do before they go into a project. A lot of Christians don't do that. We like to cover everything up with prayer, but that's like spraying cologne on, on dead bodies. <laughs> it's going to stink eventually, you know. So we want to pray everything. We want to pray our way out of things that we can actually do. And I think that's basically the issue and money too but that's another conversation <laughs> that's yeah. a completely different conversation yeah. so dr foy before you answer i want to bring this up because it's i don't want to say it tallies into this conversation but um this conversation reminded me of it so i think a year or so ago i watched this video of you and you talked about how um there were these lepers and then um they started they they got hungry because there was a fire, there was a siege or something and then they started they said let's not stay here we're going to die and then they started to move and the enemies heard them moving the four leopards and it sounded like it sounded like um a sound of a big army and then the enemies ran away and they got access to the food and everything and you talked about how um you started to pray god please make me big and i pray that prayer every day because i really want to be big but then i was talking to someone about it I know the answer to this, but I just want to hear it from you. I have this opportunity, so I might as well use it. <laughs> so um, I was talking to someone about this and how I, and, and I was telling the person how I thought like, that's such a big miracle and that's such a powerful prayer, which I do think it is. And he, he answers me, well, God makes like, why do you want to be, um, how did he put it now? Something along the lines of people pray that God should make them big, but what exactly is he making big? Now that this was like a security situation so the, the, he made the um, lepers sound like a great army but people pray that prayer and it's like god make me blue god make me blue but like what are you blowing it's like god make get me god god let me get a job god let me get a job or god make me ceo and then you go there and like you have no idea so is it do you want to look big or do you want to be big do you want to have substance do you want your soft like, is it is it a value situation or a hype situation do you want to be, you know, there are quite a number of influencers who are just like, there's really nothing, but for a time, everybody's talking about them. So like what he was like, what exactly is like, what exactly is the prayer here? What's the situation here? And um, given the conversation we're having now about how people think the God influence kind of helps me to skip over every, like everything I need to do. So what do you think in this kind of situation? So. If if God shows up here, God, um, and He comes with 
his seven verticals. So in Isaiah 11, he spoke about and the seven spirits of God. Mm -hmm. I'm correct. Yeah. It comes with seven verticals. Um, one vertical will be called the spirit of God. That's one vertical. Okay. And the spirit of God is called Yira. It's like he's awesome. That's one vertical. The next vertical will be called the fear of God. But the fear of God means Yira in Hebrew. He's awesome. So spirit, he's, you can't hold him. Mm. The fear of God is what? He's like he's God. Yeah. Fear God. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> your mates. That's number two. Number three is something called the spirit of might. Mm -hmm. You see might, power. But from the seven, four. Abel says, spirit of wisdom, wisdom. spirit of knowledge, spirit of counsel, mm -hmm. spirit of understanding. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is bad teaching. Mm. That's the problem. Four out of seven spirits of God is about sense. Four. Mm. Four. One is about power. Is one. Mm -hmm. Four is about sense. When you understand that God didn't make Christians in his image, he made man, he would change your thinking. He didn't say, and God made man. No. He didn't say, and God so made Christians. Christian. He made man. So God has an agenda for man, for earth. And he would always find those who can achieve it. He would want to use his body, Ephesians 3, mm. Ephesians 1. Ephesians 3 at the end, he says that, and through Christ, through his body, I would rule earth. But if the body is not there, so I can tell you that God had sent Facebook, somebody used it for for cell meeting mm. god had sent elon musk so god god always wants to send the ideas first to his people you know why because god has an agenda mm. so, so to answer a question the reason why he made me big is because i have an agenda mindset mm. i have a proclivity to put god's will and let me try and simplify it when the righteous prosper the people rejoice yeah so if, for example, I am the biggest person in music, I, 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 I won't do, like I said, I don't believe in secular secret, but I'll make sure that girls don't need to sleep with producers to be oh. too low. Yeah. I'll make sure that drugs is not what inspires yeah. the, the music industry. Yeah. I'll make sure that, to get the point, I will rule like a righteous person. Mm -hmm. So what is lacking on earth is what? Righteousness. Yes. People that have God's agenda across across industries music entertainment yeah. that's that's it the second part is that god is spiritual god is spiritual mm -hmm. the bible says that christ is the what is the is the visible image of the invisible god mm. colossians 3 colossians 1 so god is spiritual once you understand that the person that made you spiritual everything changes we look at life from time. He looks, he's, he, before the end, he made everything, he knows everything. Mm. So God has a bias towards what he wants to achieve on earth. He had, see, that is God's greatest bias. The problem is that we've been taught that salvation is the end, it's a lie. Mm. That's just the beginning. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's just the beginning. So it's like saying that I, I, I buy, I have a Jaguar. Like my Jaguar, eh? when I I got it, imagine for the past two years, I see my, the door is great. They ask me, how's the Jaguar? The door is fantastic. <laughs> how's the Jaguar? The door. <laughs> Just give the... Salvation is the door into God. Mm. There's so much more about God. There's so mm. much more. Mm. There's there's the beauty. There's mm. the creativity. There's the... But the door. <laughs> oh, how's your... How's the engine? The door. So there's so much more. Mm. So I don't... And, and finally... Why have you ever seen a lawyer talk about is a Christian lawyer? Mm -mm. Mm. Have you seen a so it's it's quite it's, it's weird. Mm. Have you seen a fashion designer say Christian fashion designer? Christian yeah. Have you seen a Christian pilots? So it's if you think well, you know that the devil did it to us. Yes. Just think about it. Like is oh, it, so have you up, I'm going to ask do you think cause me personally? Have you gone to a, to do surgery? He says I'm a Christian. I'm not a good doctor, but I'm a Christian. Let's pray. 
give me knife. Will you lie down? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's 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 just funny. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. The, reason, the only reason I started doing like publicly doing Christian, I was head of content for MTV two and two and a half years. Budweiser. The only reason was because I said train people. Okay. But the idea is that I don't do yeah, divides. Mm. I serve people. I'm a righteous rebel. I'm a righteous ruler. Mm-hmm. I when, when God because of me things happen. That's uh, yeah. That is so amazing. Thank <laughs> yeah. you so much. Yeah. <laughs> there's, you know, you said there's so much more yeah. in God, and that 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 is like it resonates so much, and it's yeah. so inspiring this conversation. And one thing that stands out for me is you said um, excellence is a form of worship, and I do agree. There's so much we could say about this conversation. Unfortunately, we had to draw it to a close. Yeah. So um. I would have said we should take a minute to just um, wrap up. So does anyone have like any final closing opinions that they'd like to share? Anything at all? Just like in one minute. So it's just... I actually wanted to ask Dr. Fuller a question. Okay, so, so let's have that in a minute. I think I've been struggling with accepting the term Christian creative. I think being a creative as a Christian and being tagged a Christian creative is so different. Do you feel like, because I know you're in the space, you're, for me, you're the biggest brother in the space right now. Uh, and you're supporting a lot of artists and creatives yeah. in general. Do you think the term Christian creative is an issue? Do you think it's it's like limiting how far people can go? Because yeah. it's, it's like a tag. And as much as Christian is good, like do you feel just putting it together is is bad? I think you're right. I think saying you're Christian creative is um it's it's not wise. But then okay. there are people who are called to do temple work. Um the I repeat. For for me, the only reason why I started than working with that nomenclature was because I, I heard God say, teach people. But I don't, I, it's like saying that, imagine you go as, and the person that is flying you, the pilot, <laughs> says, Allah Rakwab, I am a Muslim pilot. Your heart to cut. Yeah. Because you're telling me, why are you telling me this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, 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 is, is there a terrorist? Is there, like, are you, yeah, who are you, what is this? Like, what, what, what? I don't need to I know. Agree. I don't need to know that you're, Allah, 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 Allah. Why are you telling me this now on in the air? Mm. So it's, it's, um, there's so much of, of I, but you know what I'll say? The truth is that I have no regrets about our journey. Mm-hmm. Revelation is a journey. Yeah. So now that we know, let's just do better. Let's, let's do have better. amazing products. Yeah. So I, I have a product as mental health. Okay. And the product, people that even get used my products, mm. they was the, it's, a, it's a mental health product. So I'm working mm-hmm. on, so I'm like, you know what? I'm a Christian who gets ideas and serves humanity mm-hmm. with products, music products, movies. I'm working on a movie. And it's, yeah, it's, you get the point. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank so you so yes, much. I'm honored. Let's do better. <laughs> let's, yeah. And I hope that um, with this episode, we've been able to adequately, at least in our best efforts, talk about balancing creativity with spirituality. Thank you. Thank you so much. You I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>